I'm out here in a windy morning rain session, taking a break here to just record a segment, giving an overview slash review of the Leo Photo SA324C tripod with the MA40 ball head. I saw this on a forum a couple months ago and I thought it looked pretty interesting. Leo Photo is considered, you know, by many to be a, a good lower price alternative to the real right stuff tripods, as you can see here. On the left side of the frame, I have this TV, TFC T34 with Anvil 30 ball head. Now, Leo Photos come out with a lot of really right stuff. I don't want to say copies, but they have tripods that look very similar to all the really right stuff models out there, including their ball head. So this is the MA40. I think the MA30 might be a little bit closer to the, the Anvil 30, uh, but it's basically the same, pre, you know, same design style of the Anvil 30, which is a very popular ball head for rifle shooting applications. So the basic design of the Anvil 30 and the MA40 by Leo Photo is that you have a single lever to control the articulation of the ball head compared to a traditional ball head where you have a, a knob to tension the ball and lock it in, and you also have a knob for panning. Now for rifle shooting applications, most, you know, they want to eliminate that. You get rid of the bulky ball head without having to have all those extra controls. For a, a more slimmer design and a single ball head, or sorry, single lever control, just to make things a little bit more simpler for rifle shooting applications. Anyway, this, when I saw this, I decided to give it a whirl. Um, I wanted to see how well it compared to a really great right stuff tripod. And uh, I ordered it, came in in January. I really, I've kind of been messing around with it. But first impressions, out of the box, I thought it looked very nice. Like it, uh, you know, visually speaking, it seemed pretty well constructed. I'm not an expert on carbon fiber, but it looks pretty good to me as far as the, uh, it looks pretty clean. It looks like good, you know, carbon fiber. The legs, all the components, the lever locks all work pretty well. Like. Uh, it seems to function pretty well. It's clean. It doesn't look cheap, to be honest. It looks pretty well constructed. The ball head itself, though, it, it looks good. Um, side by side against Anvil 30, you'll see that Anvil 30 probably feel, looks and feels a little bit more well constructed. Uh, but we'll get into that in a few moments. Um, now, it's, keep in mind, you need to understand that the 324 is kind of more in line with the real right stuff TFC T24. Kind of a hint there in terms of Leo Photo kind of making models that are similar to the real right stuff tripod line. So the 324 is more comparable to the TFC T24. Um, because the diameter of this top leg here in the bottom leg segments are same with the, three, the TFC T24. So we're looking at a 32 millimeter a diameter leg here. Um, the 3.4 has, I think, a 38 millimeter or a 36, 36 or 38, so it's definitely thicker. And the, the TFC T24 is a 32 millimeter uh, diameter leg segment for the top end. So keeping that in mind, in my kind of what I have on hand to compare this to, that'll kind of guide me later, uh, like further in this discussion in terms of why I feel a certain way about this tripod. Anyway, uh, the leg segments work pretty well. It's got a good lock to it. I have, I don't, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels pretty good. Now, as far as the height is concerned, if you're, if you're tall, this probably won't work for you. So the, uh, this, this is not really level ground here. I'm on concrete pad and with a dirt pad here or dirt on here, but, um, so it looks, it's going to look kind of off, not level, but anyway, this is roughly 58 inches, I think, not counting the ball head. When you add the ball head, I think we're talking about total max height of 61 inches. So if you're a six footer, probably not gonna work for you. You're gonna need something, you're gonna want something at eye level. I'm a short person, so you can see here, um, this will work fine for me. Um, I still probably need to come down for max height if I was gonna mount a, uh, an optic here. And if obviously I'm gonna shoot my rifle, it needs to be shorter. But for my height, this works great. If you're a six footer, this is not gonna work for you. Now the, the really right stuff, 2.4 series, the TFC T24, they discontinued that. They only have the L, the TFC T24L, which is longer legs. And uh, I think it goes to 68 inches for the max height. So that's gonna be the, the more, uh, for taller people, that's gonna be the main option for you in terms of a tripod with 
this type of weight con and construction and form factor. So I got some notes here. The uh, SA324C has a load capacity of 33 pounds on the tripod itself. The head supposedly has a 44 pound load capacity. Uh, keeping that in mind, obviously, if you compare the two, your weakest link will be the lower of the two. And so that means you have a 33 pound load capacity. Um, again, I said 32 millimeter diameter tubes for the top end. Um, you know, about 58 max height for the tripod without the head. And then I think it says it collapses down to 20.67. So again, this is comparable to the Relay Rest F24, TSC224. If I have a screenshot here of the, uh, the specs here, because we're here and I don't have an internet uh, connection. So it's a 25.9. So this is actually gonna fold up shorter. Actually, that's based for the long series, the TFC224L. Uh, again, I said the TFCT24 is discontinued, so uh, this would have been a more compare, a better comparison directly to that in terms of length and dimension, uh, link dimensions. Um, anyway, now actual usage of it. I feel that this is not a good tripod to shoot off of, and the reason being is that there's a lot a, of torsional flex on this tripod, and we're going to go ahead and move over to the front here and I'll show it to you with a rifle attached. Put my Voodoo V22 on the Leo Photo SA324C with the MA40 ball head. This is about a 21 pound rifle. Now as you can see here, notice the amount of torsional flex that exists on this tripod just by moving it a little bit, you know, side to side laterally. And you can see it's just twisting. This does not exist on my regular SFT TFCT 34. I don't have a 2.4 on hand and I wish I did to show you, to, to give a fair comparison to the, uh, for the Leo photo against a really rare stuff tripod. But right now I, I've had issues just shooting off of this. Obviously you want to not influence the gun when you have it mounted on the tripod. You want to kind of just lock in as best you can. However, you need to keep it still, but we don't live in a perfect world and so, Having rigidity in a tripod is very critical, and this is not good. I would not choose this over my, at least what I have on hand, which is my TFCT34, I would not choose this. And you can notice too that if you, if you kind of hit it and let it wobble, it, it sits there and all that, that vib, you know, not vibration, that torsional vibration still exists for quite some time. If I did that with my 334, you know, I obviously with the TFCT34, I can make it kind of twist, but it dampens down very quickly because it's very a very rigid system. Again, I don't have a two, TFC 2.4 two, two on hand, so I can't really tell you if this is just an issue with Leo Photo, given these dimensions on the tripod tubes, the diameter of the tubes. But that being said, this is the main reason why I'm not a fan of this tripod. From an optical mounting standpoint, it works just fine. I mean, it's not a big deal for shooting. If you're gonna shoot photography or just mount your, your binocular on here, it works great. It's perfectly fine. But for a rifle shooting standpoint, if you're gonna clamp in, it won't work well. Now, if you wanted to bag up, it won't be a big deal. And we'll go ahead and just do that real quick here. Sorry, it's gonna look tall because I didn't adjust it for the fact that I have a bag on here, but you'll get the idea. So you can obviously, bag up here you can have a tag table or just put your bag on a tripod on the head and just not lock in and i need this doesn't balance very well without the bipod but as you can see here and this should you know this will eliminate the fact that you have that torsional flex but obviously you don't you'll have the natural side to side lateral movement you would have because you're not locked in so from this standpoint you know it, it's it just functions the same way as any other tripod if you weren't going to lock in but that being said um the fact that you have so much torsional flex right now in this 324C is why I'm not, I can't give my, my confidence to this, to this uh, tripod for rifle shooting applications. My general assessment of the Leo Photo SA324C with the MA40 ball head is that it looks well constructed, but it's not rigid. The price point is up to you. I know a lot of people will go for this price point simply because 340-ish is for this whole system is nice compared to other things out there. 
but my general opinion is this is not going to be suitable for rifle shooting for most people, especially if you're flat range shooting. If you're shooting PRS or, or flat range shooting, you're going to want something a little bit more stout. Again, this flex, tor this torsional flex, unacceptable in my opinion. Now, a lot of people will give up that rigidity for lighter weight. However, if you think about it, my TFCT 34, which is very rigid, weighs only a pound more than this. A pound is a lot to some people, especially if you're hunting or hiking far, but if you're talking general rigidity and stability, I would give, I would make a sacrifice and take on a little bit more weight, but that's just me and maybe, given I don't have the hunter background, maybe that's not the way to go. Uh, <clears throat> Now, if assuming I don't have a two TFCT 24 from Real Red Stuff on hand, I'm gonna make a very, very, you know, general guess here is that it's probably more rigid than this, and I would probably go that route before I go with this Leo Photo 324C. I'm thinking about getting one of Leo Photo's like more stout models, like I think they have a 364 or 362, to make it. You know, to get a general comparison against really rare stuff and see if this rigidity issue is only on this 324C. But I will not recommend this for anyone who wants to shoot a rifle off of this. If you want optics only, this will work great. I think from a, I mean, it's rigid enough. It's compared to tripods in this price range. It feels fine to me. However, for optics, I wouldn't want this MA40 ball head. I would want a traditional ball head with that has the ball articulation control and pan controls on a separate knob, you know, separate knobs. Because that's how you want to roll with optics, whether it's spotting scope, binocular, or a camera system. Anyway, by the time I release this uh, video, I will have a written review posted on my blog, so I will put that link in the video description. But if you ever have any other questions or comments about the Leo Photo 324C with the MA40 ball head, definitely let me know, reach out to me, and I can answer your concerns as best I can. One last item about Leo Photo, which I do not appreciate, is that this is a Chinese company. They have a U.S. kind of, I guess, not headquarters, but there's somebody who handles the U.S. sales. On the morning of, before I came out to the range, I went to go get the general specs of the MA40 ball head. MA40 ball head's not on the website anymore. I don't understand why Leo Photo's products appear, disappear, reappear on their website. And it makes you concerned, like, are they discontinuing these things? Are they constantly making new revisions? I don't know what's going on there, but that's kind of one criticism I have about Leo Photo, um, about what they're making and how they're, you know, what they're producing, because there's also the MA30, um, which I think the MA30 disappeared when the MA40 came out, and now the MA30 is back up again. So it's a weird situation, but I mean, that's kind of what you're getting from this sort of, you know, this brand, right? It's not, you know, it's a foreign brand, um, and so you're, you know, where it's coming from as far as how stable they are, as far as the company's concerned and like the direction of the products, I don't know, but that's just one minor criticism I have. Anyway, that's it for this kind of video segment. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll try to answer those questions as best I can.